Let's see how to write a simple uh, program for a custom requirement in Python. So today for that example we are picking uh, some uh, mathematical problem which uh, was not solved so far. So far. Uh, many experts were trying but uh, that uh, mathematical simple problem but uh, it manually if you are uh, calculating and checking it will take a lot of time so we can use a program to experiment it anyway we won't come to the solution but we will uh, make a program to make this calculation easier so that that is a step we are going to see that mathematical problem we call it as collapse conjecture so this is uh, based on the person's name so there is a uh, uh, method to handle this so chain of uh, uh, um, calculation we have to do uh, how it start is randomly you will pick a number after pick the number you have to um, check whether it is odd or even number if it is even number you have to divide by 2 then uh, if it is odd number you have to multiply by 3 and plus 1 so normally it was told as uh, 3 and plus 1 uh, equation or problem the problem part is whatever number we are putting, if it is a positive number, whatever number we are putting, uh, after a lot of iteration, it will come to 1. Always it will come to 1. So let's see some examples or see this, uh, uh, this uh, Wikipedia, how they say the examples. So one of the examples they have, um, even minus number included. So see here, if we take 1, then 1 is an odd number. So 3n plus one so multiplied by three so one will one will turn to three plus one is four four is a even number so we have to divide it by two so it is two then two is a even number divided by two it's one now it will loop again and again if it is a minus number the logic is uh, the uh, boil down the final numbers are different something like minus one minus five minus seventeen one of these will come if we go to the minus number so normally the original functionality talking about um, um, uh, positive numbers, right? So let's go and see the program. So I already pre-write the program just to go through. So uh, even again, if again see the Wikipedia, I was testing uh, the function which is having the higher iteration. So this is um, 10 to the power 12, uh, the, this specific big number. If we are putting into that uh, iteration after 1348 steps, it will come to 1. After come to 1, again it's loop uh, up to 4 and again 1 like that, it will loop and stay. So let's see uh, how to write a program to test a particular number or between two range of numbers. So that's what I'm taking between two range of numbers. Uh, how we can uh, uh, test how many steps are there and what are the functions coming how many odd steps, how many total steps, that's what we are going to test it. So simply what I am doing is I am initiating a, a start number. So uh, this is only two number range I am taking. Start number, then end number. So between that we are going to loop it. Then uh, just I introduce a line separator because uh, this is a variable I will choose uh, on the print just to split between two numbers uh, in the loop. Then um, uh, I am going to iterate it for numbers between these then while uh, i is less than n number so from start number uh, when uh, increment happened uh, until the n number we are going to iterate after that what we are going to do um, so this is increment we are doing then next number uh, next number i am just putting the i so current uh, whatever the cursor is standing that the number will come here then auto iteration and even iteration I am resetting for every number to zero. After that result set. So here what I am going to do is um, I am starting with the uh, first number we are initiating. Um, then uh, uh, doing the iteration so that odd even to 3n plus 1 or divided by 2. That iteration I am going with. Then coming to the while loop. So this is a place the exact uh, uh, collapse conjecture rules I am applying in this place so the number is taken for example if the number is 1 um, immediately it will stop but if the number is uh, 5 um, then uh, even minus number included here but uh, the actual scenario for positive number so we can test for positive number now 
so what i am doing is if if next number so that that number i am testing if it is 5 i am dividing by 2 and see whether remainder is 1 it, it means it's uh, even odd number so this is if i put 5 it is odd number then i have to go to this logic 3 n plus 1 so I am multiplying 5 by 3, it's 15, plus 1 is 16. Then auto iteration I am increasing by 1. So I am going to count how many steps it took for odd numbers and how many steps it took for even numbers. Then I will get the total. Then what I am trying to do here is um, even numbers. So if it is else condition, even number. So if it is uh, 6 I take, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So it will go to the 3. Then, uh, so next number is reassign. So I am uh, step by step. I am going to the next number. So next number is uh, three divided, uh, six divided by two, three. Then even iteration, I am getting the addition. Then um, the result set is being built in the while loop. So this is a while loop block. Result set is being built from the number we started with. So if I started with five, until it come to the point where the one, the final number is one. That is what I am trying to go in this iteration. Then the result set is uh, concatenated continuously. So just with an arrow, uh, all the numbers will be listed. Then uh, again, I am bringing this variable. So then it's simply a string concatenation. I am telling odd iteration how many happen for that particular number. Um, total iteration how many happens odd plus even. Then uh, the complete result set in the next line. Uh, then line separator, the major loop. So uh, I'm not testing for one number here. I'm just putting a loop to see a range like uh, 1 to 100, uh, how what's happening, something like that. I'm going to test it. That's why. So um, then I'm putting the line separator in the new line. Uh, then the new, then, then only I'm coming and printing that uh, list. So let's see that the bigger number, 10 to the power 12, that uh, higher iteration, 1000, they were telling here, no? Uh, 1348 step this is the one I am trying to see now then I will go and test for 1 to 5 something like small numbers so we can go and see it so simply we have to run uh, Python script Right, so it's executed. Uh, most probably there are two steps, uh, two numbers only I put it. So the first number, just uh, from that bigger iteration, the first number took only 172 steps. You can see here, 172 steps totally. But the second, the bigger number, so that, that's, that's a problem, mathematical problem. Uh, it is showing a randomness, but still uh, at the end it will come to, it won't go to infinity. Even though show, it is showing a randomness, you can't predict uh, anything, but uh, between two numbers, see, one is taking 172 step, other one is taking uh, almost 1348 step. So that's how it's very unpredictable uh, movement it will give, but anyway it will come to one at the final stage. So see bigger numbers are going on continuously, but suddenly the final stage it will come to one. So this took uh, that bigger steps, so see. Quickly, it will come to that four, two, one. That that step, it will come. That's a model. So, earlier days, uh, if computer is not there or if program is not there, what will happen? To test this number, you have to spend a lot of time by writing, dividing, multiplying, and thousand three hundred and uh, how many time? So thousands of time you can't write and test this uh, small small one functions how it goes, right? So now computer is helping. Actually, you can see here, they use computers to generate these graphs. So this is how this pattern will go when you start with the numbers, frequency and all. So now, actually we can further enhance this program just to record those steps. So they are just putting the steps here. Certain numbers are going to 10,000 time event. So you just take the steps in another database or something uh, with respect to the uh, number we are looking for. Then uh, we can plot it in a graph also. So using a program we can do that one um, let's test a small number so we will go for a range this is a big number I wanted to showcase but let's see one one to five I'm going to test so 
so what happening here one um, so so one is skipped because I already have the logic if it is uh, uh, if it is one it won't go for that um, and it doesn't have any steps to run then it start with the two second uh, taken so two if we take only one iteration two is uh, even number so they are dividing by two it come to one right then if you go to three so three uh, odd number multiply by three again nine plus one is ten so this is ten then ten uh, even number divide by two five five again um, um, odd number so fifteen plus one sixteen then eight four two one now see this 5 is already there, here so this particular block will exactly repeat for the uh, 5 final stage also uh, that, that's a pattern and again uh, this is th yeah this is 5 right so that exact block will come here for 5 so that's how this is again uh, loop to that uh, previous number and go but for new number we can't predict it um, this uh, just go and check uh, what is Collette's conjecture. There's a very famous story there on mathematical side, um, like um, between big nations. Uh, uh, I think this invented by uh, a German scientist uh, from Russian side. They wanted to slow down uh, some American scientist on finding the solution for this mathematical problem. So th this is really a interesting scenario if you are interested in math side. But uh, here what we see is. Uh, how we can use uh, simple scripting knowledge to reduce that. So actually, those days computer not there. So just to calculate and see what will happen, uh, that good example, no? just uh, uh, to go up to 10 to the power of uh, 12. Uh, now just we have to put it on a loop and uh, run and see what will happen. But uh, those days they have to manually calculate it up to those big numbers and still they come to the conclusion uh, it, it is not a resolvable solution okay thanks for watching